Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lands Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Got a very special slash elegant run. Now it's not elegant into the name or because of the name. This is actually called the Holy Shit Run, which is pretty much, I guess, the definition of inelegance. But at the same time, I always enjoy these challenge runs uh, that are a little bit simple in the kind of conditions that they posit. This was suggested by YouTube user Eric Cartman. I'm gonna guess that that's not his real name. But in any case, the way that this run is going to work, you can probably uh, derive it for yourself if you just take a couple seconds to think about it. But we got the poop, that is the shit part. Uh, we also, that's the shit part in more ways than one, but we also have uh, Holy Grail and the Halo, which is the holy part. So that is the simplistic kind of, uh, I guess, machinations or uh, mechanics that we've got for this run. There are some conditions. It is the holy shit run, not the uh, demonic shit run. So there are no deals with the devil allowed. Beyond that, we also cannot replace our poop. Everything else, it's basically vanilla run-esque, uh, but that no deals with the devil thing is gonna be a problem. The reason I haven't gone to this item room yet is because I wanted to explain all the conditions first. And obviously we can't replace the poop, which is uh, gonna be our main negative thing, but wow, picking up the relic on the first floor is absolutely fantastic. You know, shops, item rooms, all of that stuff is on the table as long as it doesn't violate one of those earlier conditions. Let's take this pill. It's health up, that is actually really fantastic. You already start with a lot of health, uh, because both Holy Grail and Halo give you a health upgrade, but, uh, you know, to get a little bit of extra health on top of that is fine by me. Halo is an all stats up, in case you've forgotten. Holy Grail is the one that allows us to fly, but also gives us a, uh, single health upgrade in addition to that. So I don't know how I'm gonna use the poop, I probably will just ignore it, is my guess, although I know there is a certain contingent of people out there, well, there's two contingents of people out there, there's people out there who like poop who are just trolling the shit out of me, uh, which is fine, you know, I can get down with that. Uh, but then there's people out there that actually think the poop it has good defensive capabilities. You know, if like a Larry Jr. is running at you or something, you could toss that poop down, he'll hit it and move in the other direction. I, every, anytime I try to use poop constructively, I always end up fucking myself over, so I'm probably gonna end up just ignoring it for the most part and trying to go... Basically, this the, if we want to distill it down to its earliest, uh, or its most basic kind of structure, this run is essentially uh, me not having a spacebar item. That is the, the main negative. And the positive is I can fly and I have a lot of health to start with. This is one of the first times I think I've ever seen... Why didn't I pick up that health on the last floor? I think in my brain I was like, oh, I've never been hit, so I don't need this. Um, but yeah, that was one of the only times I've ever seen one of those kind of white champion gishes. That's super weird. I am going to shoot all the poop in here, though, because it might allow us to pick up some extra red hearts. And we pick up some extra red hearts, I can play the blood bank in there more. We also got a nickel out of it, which is fantastic. I am going to be looking for the shop, not for battery 9-volt nuns habit, as is usual, but for the other duality, uh, or duology, I guess, because I was going to say trilogy for those three items, but uh, the map and the compass. And you never know, there's a chance you could pick up, I don't know, 15 cent book of revelations that would give me a single spirit heart before I had to get rid of it. Or, uh, there should be an item like Mom's Purse that allows you to have two spacebar items. I have no idea how it would work. I guess, you know, maybe if you hit, like, R or something. I was just looking at my keyboard. I'm like, which key does this game not use? Yeah, maybe if you hit R or something, uh, then you can, like, switch between the items. And, it, you know, the, the catch for it is you can only charge one item at a time as well. So whatever item you have active when the room finishes, uh, will get the charge. We also got a spirit heart from the relic there. Whatever item you have active when the room finishes gets the charge, but you can switch back and forth between them and keep them both charged up. That would be uh, pretty awesome, actually. I would be psyched for that. I'm just trying to think of some good combinations. It would allow you to have, like, one good defensive item and one good offensive item as well. Um, problem is, with something like the nail, you always want to make sure that's charging, so you would never want to switch charges. But what you could do is just, um, nah, that doesn't really work either. I don't know, man. You guys are smarter than me. Brainstorm it pitch it to Ed, I'm sure it'll happen. Which, I don't even know if you can pitch it to Ed anymore, because Form Springs being shut down, which is real shitty, actually. Because uh, I, I love that he did so much community interaction on that. Now, I, I only have one key, uh, unless this room is very good to us, which it is not. Uh, so I'm going to check out our item room. That's going to give us teleport, which is totally worthless. So, uh, we are going to fight our boss, and then I'm probably going to make my way back to that blood bank. And in the blood bank, I presume that I will play it until either I have a ton of money... Uh, or until I get the HP upgrade, because I really am not too concerned about my overall health by way of the fact that not only do we already have two spirit hearts, but I can get the relic as well. Or I have the relic as well, so the relic will continue to give me more spirit hearts. So provided I don't take much or any damage here, especially with that tinted rock there, uh, I think we're going to be in a very good position from that kind of side of things. Uh, then we should... Oh my god, that was the literally the worst damage that I've taken in like two runs, except for damage that has actually killed me. Which has happened surprisingly frequently lately. It's been a while since I've beaten Blue Baby. I kind of want to uh, 
you know, get back into the swing of things here. Remember, no deals with the devil, otherwise I would absolutely be all over that. No keys as well, which is an issue, but we will take our cube of meat, and uh, we'll go play the shit out of this blood bank. I might not want to get as low as, you know, almost zero health. Also, I have no idea where the uh, item, sorry, secret room might be here, otherwise I would probably go for that, but, uh, you know, sadly that's not going to be in the cards for us. So, let's just play the shit out of this blood bank, hopefully amass a lot of money to go to shops later, or pick up uh, an HP upgrade, which would be awesome as well. This is bad luck so far, it's paying out single pennies, followed by the IV bag, which I don't really think can give us anything but money. Uh, but money. But money. That'd be a pretty funny... Uh, television show, don't get me wrong. I'm just gonna play these like once to see if I can get something out of it that I value. Oh, you know what? We should play it a little bit more frequently, especially with the IV bag here. Because we could possibly get some keys out of it, and by using that key we can go to the golden chest. Or just be able to go to the item room on the next floor. I don't know. Just I, I would love to pick up a key and leave this floor knowing that I had some kind of sustainability for getting items on the next floor. But I really don't want to lose too much money. We're still probably in the clear. Oh my god, I lost three times on the key! And of course now, it's not going to give me the items that I want. You know what, we're probably just going to play these until we run out of money. Which would make the back half of this floor pretty much a uh, colossal disappointment. Unless we pick up something excellent. You know what, we'll probably leave at this point. We got two keys, so I'm not going to go to the shop because I don't want to waste a key in case there's not a half price item in there. Uh, but I will open up this golden chest and possibly we'll gain something valuable out of that. But otherwise, uh, pretty disappointing back half after beating the boss here. But we're only on the basement part two. Still plenty of time to amass spirit hearts and better items. Let's see what this golden chest holds. It is uh, two cents and a bomb. Which is probably not a great trade for a key, but is also, you know, not uh, definitively worse, if that makes sense. That was almost a, a very close call with respect to getting uh, blown up by that bomb fly there. Or, but it's not really a bomb fly, it's more of a bomb walk, isn't it? And boy are my arms tired, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So we're coming to Northern Lion for now, it's like really bad rehashes of 1950s hack comedian jokes. The Emperor card, very useful of course. Uh, we'll hold on to that as long as we feasibly can. Uh, because the longer we hold on to that Emperor card, the more valuable it becomes. If we end up using that on a Cathedral or a... Uh, even, uh, you know, Womb Part 2 might be valuable. It's all going to depend on how our health looks in that given moment. This is why I love having flying items, obviously. Cube of Meat making this very easy. It's a, a tedious way to take out a room, but it's also a very safe way to take out a room, which makes it uh, preferable over a lot of the methods I commonly use. And we'll continue picking up bombs like crazy for whatever reason. As tempting as it is to use that Emperor card right away, I am not going to. We're going to open this chest. Isaac's Fork, pretty solid. Uh, that's going to give us a good opportunity to get some lifesteal going on. And again, we've got these double spider runes that uh, literally could not worry me less because of the ability to fly. So we're just going to shoot these guys. And I'm going to think about what items I could possibly want that would really improve my chances right here. We definitely need more damage. Our health is probably A-OK, -okay, especially with the Relic. We've actually got a lot of versatility. Uh, considering we have so many heart containers, I would love to be able to use like a Guppy's Paw or something, but the only way to get one of those, since we can't do deals with the devil, is to use a Demon Judgment. But you know, to be honest with you, I would probably say that if de deals with the devil are going to be off limits, Demon Judgment should be off limits as well, because he's basically like the same thing, but free. Well, not the same thing, but it doesn't cost health, he costs money instead. That's what I was trying to get at there. So I'm going to try to plant the world's greatest bomb. It worked fairly well. Now that we've started this chain reaction, if I just try to avoid these guys, uh, they should blow themselves up on those bomb flies. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna try not to take so much damn damage. Somehow I got out of there without taking any more hits, which is kind of surprising to me. I uh, really want to get... Oh, that's not gonna work yet. Uh, I'm getting my ass kicked here, and it's actually scaring me, because we're getting a little bit close to where uh, I'm worried about the existing health that we have. Isaac's Fork, please hook me up any second now. That was bad dodging, but it ended up working out okay. There's so many bomb flies on the screen. Oh my god, just start a chain reaction, please. Just one of you, thank you. There's, it's almost impossible for one of these bomb flies to blow up without killing something else. We just saw it happen, though, so maybe I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. Oh, well, I'm just gonna dodge right into that one, apparently. And that one, that's okay, though. We did get a little extra health for finishing, so so much for having spirit hearts. But on the bright side... Uh, we are still alive, and we'll get some kind of good item, hopefully. At least a stat upgrade, maybe a damage upgrade. That would be fantastic. You know what? Tears plus HP is okay. We can absolutely take deals with the Angel. And, you know, the Mitre is probably the literal best item that I could have hoped for at this point. Uh, our Spirit Hearts should be going off the charts. 
which is fantastic. Now, I'm going to hope to pick up a little bit more money and go to uh, both the item room and the shop on this floor. Even if the shop only pays out with the key, uh, I'll be okay with that, to be quite honest with you. That was a much more harrowing boss fight than I had originally anticipated. No question about that. And this is an example of a room where I think I should be able to get out of here without taking damage fairly easily. Uh, because these guys shouldn't be able to walk on the gaps, but apparently I was incorrect about that. But that's okay. We have picked up another health upgrade pill because this is, for whatever reason, the luckiest run that we've ever had in the Binding of Isaac. Uh, we still got this Emperor card. We have reached a dead end with Sloth, unfortunately, but that's not really uh, all that damaging in the whole scheme of things. I could, I, I, I've strongly considered using a bomb here to attack Sloth. Then I realized that would make me a uh, serious scrub level Isaac player. I might be a serious scrub level Isaac player, but to have to admit it to myself would be a, a very disappointing way to spend my Good Friday, shall we say. Is Good Friday associated with any food? I'm not religious, uh, but I, I do enjoy religious holidays that are associated with food. You know, Pancake Tuesday, uh, McRib Thursday, all of those kind of holidays. Is Good Friday associated with one of those? Two of Clubs will just pop right away to give us uh, some extra bombs so we can hold on to the Emperor card as we make our way in the world today, which takes everything that we've got. Uh, I am going to pop a bomb here and see if the secret room's here, and if it's not, then I'll probably pop a bomb here and see if the secret room's there. Uh, which it isn't. Alright, so that was a waste of two bombs, but luckily I did just gain six, so it should be okay. More keys, please! That is the secret room there. Uh, and we picked up six cents as a result, which is good because that means item room and shop are gonna be on the table. We're making a pretty good show of our uh, capabilities so far. Not to say that I've, my skill has anything to do with the position we're in right now, it's mostly been just a, unfathomable good luck. However, uh, you know, we could easily squander that on Fathom with good luck, so I'm gonna do my best to just play smart. I would love to get back to full health at some point, uh, because as is right now, for some reason these guys are thinking that's the closest way to get to me, but it wasn't. Um, as is right now, we are a little bit in a scary position. Really good bombs uh, by these guys, actually, but I, I managed to dodge out of the way. Again, all stats up from the Halo has given me decent enough speed to be able to get the fuck out. When these guys are being pains in the asses, that was probably a miter hit right there. Uh, oh, you know what? I kind of wish I'd just gone straight for the coin purse instead of buying that spirit heart. But I'm going to buy this key as well. If we get more money, I'll definitely go for the coin purse because there's a decent chance it's going to have health upgrades in it. But I can't be too sore about picking up uh, spirit heart and key. But it was probably, I, I should have just, I don't know, used my brain there before I used my hands. Which is, I, I believe Bun B says that in the uh, MIA Paper Planes remix. Start with your head, homie, then use your hands. If you try it in reverse, you don't even stand a chance. Good advice. I get all of my uh, business advice in particular from rap remixes. Wow, two extra spirit hearts on this room. Let's see what we got in here. Hourglass, which is a total waste of our time, but I'm going to come in here just to see if I can shoot the, the fire anyway and maybe, maybe pick up some extra money. Now, with only one key left, this is probably a little bit irresponsible in an Isaac run, but I'm going to uh, open that golden chest in the hopes, again, that there's more money and I can buy that coin purse. Or, uh, you know, maybe it contains an item in its own right, maybe it contains a number of other keys. It contains a rusty key, which I think is gonna be better than, um, Isaac's Fork, because rusted key, I believe, just increases the number of key drops that we get. So trading a key for zero keys, but a, a mathematical percentage increase uh, of getting keys in the future, I think is a smart decision. Assuming that's actually what rusted key does. But, I don't know! If that is actually what it literally does, so let's uh, move on, shall we? Caves Part 2, and we have Curse of Darkness, which means this is the only time when I will ever feel glad uh, that I don't have the map or the compass otherwise. It's good to get a break, I guess, on a floor for me being like, Herp did her, map and compass, nun's habit, nine volt, brimstone, mom's knife, etc., etc. Of course, uh, mom's knife is off the table for us here because we cannot get deals with the devil. Actually, that's not fair to say, because you can occasionally find Mom's Knife just randomly in item rooms. And it seems to have a high percentage chance of happening on challenge runs, where I've been told uh, that I can't do deals with the devil, almost specifically for the reason of not being able to get Mom's Knife. I don't know why, but I appreciate it nonetheless. So we're going to continue onwards here. I... We did pick up a key already, thus confirming at least mentally, if not mathematically, uh, what I think Rusted Key does. We've ended up picking up a bomb and a spirit heart and finding the secret room as well, just randomly here. Picked up another key uh, and a ton of money. This means that the shop that we had just passed by is absolutely worthwhile. Really don't want to run into greed because money is uh, effectively worthless past the next couple of floors. I would really just like to find a way to pick up uh, a decent item. You know what? Ladder's not worth it, uh, but I will invest a little bit of money, even in red hearts. 
uh, just to get a little bit closer to the peace of mind of having full red hearts. A lot of spirit heart as well. Why not? You know, the more spirit hearts we um, attack on now, the uh, more health we'll presumably have once we get into more difficult floors. And we are going to find our boss room and our item room adjacent to one another, so I think we are good to go on this floor, basically. I am just going to call it quits. Hopefully we find a passive in our... Um, item room here. We found a lot of actives so far that have been functionally worthless, which is unfortunate, but, you know, that could change. We're getting weird frame rate issues again as well. I don't know, man. Whenever I get frame rate issues at this point, I used to think, like, what's wrong with my computer? Now I just say, yep, yeah, finding of Isaac. It happens. We're gonna shoot some more bullets down here, blow up this laser bullet fly. We got a tarot card, which is two of hearts. Uh, kind of tempted to use that right away, just, to, oh, rosary. That's gonna make the Bible show up everywhere, but it also gave us some spirit hearts and, uh, maybe red hearts? I don't know. I'm just gonna pop two of hearts right now. I know that seems super silly, but uh, that does allow me to use the uh, to hold the Emperor card and use it later. Not an ideal usage of the two of hearts card, but perhaps the ideal usage of uh, you know both of those cards functions combined, if you know what I'm saying. So we're just gonna back it up here. Whenever things get rough, uh, we can just simply uh, fall back on top of a rock. But in the meantime, we're gonna use our range advantage to take out these enemies as quickly as possible. If we can get them down to Silkworm territory, that is not an issue for us then. Uh, because again, I do have a, a pretty substantial such bad damage to take. I do have a pretty substantial range advantage over uh, the fistulas. Obviously, they have to be right next to you to hit you, so I would calculate their range as about negative fucking zero. Uh, whereas for me, I can pretty much shoot across the entire map if I see fit. Now, a little bit of extra help that I can't use for once. We did get a crate uh, and a spirit heart randomly, which is actually fantastic. Uh, do I want the matchstick? I think rusted key is better for now. Uh, so we'll just pick up this tarot card, which is Justice, pop that down. Uh, I totally forgot I could fly, which means I didn't have to pick up Matchstick to get back there. Uh, we obviously want our Emperor card. I I'll take the pill as well. We've had good luck with them so far. Yep, yeah, speed upgrade. That is fantastic. And down to the next floor. So far, so good. Again, do we have the skills necessary to take down the bosses? Well, you know, that's, I guess that's the ultimate question. Do we have the items necessary to take down the bosses? Uh... Probably, but it would be a war of attrition at this point. I really want to get another uh, high damage item. From a health perspective, we're doing fantastically. I can't deny that. Uh, but from a damage perspective, we are suffering a little bit still. But I, I can't remember if these laser bullet flies can indeed uh, like walk over or fly over the gaps. I don't see a reason why they wouldn't be able to, which is the, the problem, I think. At the same time, I should just be able to hang out and use these rocks as shields. But I, I need, some of these things need to die first, otherwise my brain is just going to short-circuit trying to run through all the possible permutations of where they're going to land. You never realize that your brain is a computer more than when you're trying to simulate inside of your mind where these fucking laser bullet flies are going to bump into one another and where the bullets are going to go if they happen to explode at that given moment. That is another health upgrade pill. Uh, and it is now that I am realizing that I am probably the luckiest man in the universe. It's been a long time since I've had red heart containers stretching off of the screen. I knew we'd end up fighting greed at some point, so I don't feel too bad about this. I could always toss down a bomb and just, you know, kill him the old-fashioned way. But, again, with us not having substantial damage, I think it's uh, smarter for me to hold on to those bombs so I have a chance, or a greater chance of taking out Mom's heart a little bit later. I knew I was going to take damage as well. I will take the extra money, uh, though, with a smile on my face and take a spirit heart and move onward. So we actually turned a profit on that room. Uh, with respect to Spirit Hearts, I absolutely want to open this golden chest, as you might expect, but in order to do so, we are going to need to pick up another key, which shouldn't be a problem. Rusted Key's been helping us out a great deal so far. There goes that Spirit Heart already that we got against Greed. Uh, I, the problem on this map, you might be saying, Ryan, you really shouldn't be taking as much damage as you are. But the problem is, uh, you know, I, I don't necessarily disagree with you, but I, I find it difficult to dodge through the center of the map. Because if I dodge through the center of the map, I might waste my key trying to open that golden chest. And again, these guys are kind of fucking with me, aren't they? Kind of strange jumping patterns. We'll pick up the penny. You know, it's one of those things where opening that golden chest might actually be a good thing, but we don't know about it yet. So I'm going to try to find the secret room and blow up this tinted rock. Well, we didn't blow up, or we didn't find the secret room, but we did get another spirit heart, which probably compensates me uh, justifiably for the uh, awful room I had against those leapers back there. In the meantime, let's just do some dodging through the middle here. Uh, once big nutsack fly is dead, this room becomes much, much easier. But still, you know, as, as awesome as it seems like we might be doing right now, especially from a defense or health standpoint, uh, we're going to start struggling pretty soon if I don't get a damage upgrade. More bombs is fine, but more keys would be preferable. Uh, especially, like, I want keys to future-proof this run, because if we do actually manage to make it to the chest, obviously I need four keys to make it happen, uh, in order to open those items there. 
sadly, uh, if we're unable to open those items, then the chest is just a harder version of the cathedral with basically no positive benefits associated with it. We're doing fantastically on money. Can't sweat that at all. Uh, but all other metrics are a little weak. Even bombs, you know, 16 bombs is not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but it's also not nearly as good as it could be, considering we've been picking them up fairly frequently so far. Which I guess it means I've been using them badly. Again, I've lost like two spirit arts on this room. Because apparently I'm just bad at video games, especially now that I'm getting uh, a little cocky with respect to uh, this run in particular, because I have so much health. And nothing could possibly stop me until, you know, floor four or something. We have 16 bombs. Let's make good use of them here. Well, let's make a use of them here, apparently, is what I meant to say. There we go. That was a good bomb. So I technically only wasted one bomb on that room, because we got another one just for free. Let's start looking for the secret room. More money doesn't interest me, but something like Epic Fetus obviously does. Lucky Toe, also interesting. Uh, Lucky Toe would scale well or synergize well with the uh, items we already have, like Miter and Relic, because, you know, the way, as I understand it, luck basically causes you to get more item drops at the end of, ends of rooms, which is... Uh, not normally that fantastic can be valuable for sure uh, but if we had combine that with uh, the the miter which causes more of those drops to be spirit hearts then I think we get a really nice synergistic effect where we have a substantially increased chance of getting spirit hearts that being said rusty key also valuable to me right now if I had more keys I would definitely take a trip over to uh, you know golden chest territory in the bottom which is actually where I'm going but there's there's two golden chests so uh, why don't we just pop this one open first and ignore Tammy's head? Figures the, the now that I'm stuck with the spacebar item, I'm exclusively going to get spacebar items. Apparently, ain't that the way the cookie crumbles most of the time? Well, you know, it's probably a 50/50 mix of that and just pure despair. One of these guys is gonna explode any second now. Now we just need the second wave. Wow, that was actually really easy. Our pill is bad trip. It had to happen at some point. We had to get unlucky. Uh, but that's okay because, again, that basically just cost us a spirit heart and we gain a spirit heart pretty much every other room at this point. If I lose this one, it will almost certainly come down to me playing poorly, which is unfortunate because, you know, we, we probably do have a, a decent chance of failing this run. As much as I hate to say it because it, it's a little self-deprecating, but still, as these guys come through here, we'll be able to pick up another bomb and go through this item room where we have Kamikaze. What did I tell you? exclusively bad spacebar items appearing now uh, and now I'm thinking like why don't we just fucking pop open all these golden chests that seems way better thankfully we finally picked up the small rock uh, which is not a like game maker but at the same time is super beneficial especially since I've been complaining about not having nearly enough damage now I've been taking some stupid damage on these enemies there's no question about that I am hoping to uh, atone for that mistake as we make our way forward. Let's see where our boss is. Little Gish, great item to pick up. Uh, you know, a familiar that slows the enemies is fantastic in my opinion. Uh, the only problem is that sometimes Little Gish will uh, not always have the greatest chance of slowing enemies. I don't know if that, what I just said there, actually makes any sense at all. But, you know, sometimes you think Gish has like a 100% chance to slow, but instead it just does like a, you know, the, the shots bounce harmlessly off the enemy as if... Uh, made of tissue paper or something like that. The other thing is that Gish is kind of an annoying boss to fight if you're not doing crazy damage. She's got a little bit more, or he's got a little bit more HP. Again, I don't know why I consider Gish to be female, but it just shows up. I think it's because, it, it you know, Ish kind of has a feminine sound to it. You know, like Trisha, Alicia, I don't know. That's my guess anyway. I've actually played Gish and, you know, having played Gish, uh, you know, I know that Gish is a man because the, the plot of Gish is that he's trying to save his human girlfriend from, uh, the, I think, evil dude who kidnapped her? I can't remember. It's been a little while since I played Gish. I actually don't like Gish all that much. I don't think it's aged fantastically. Uh, but it's a, an interesting game in its own right and, you know, is almost 10 years old, so I can't really sweat it now. Uh, let's check out our deal with the Angel Room again. Guardian Angel's fantastic. That's actually going to improve our defense a lot. And we are going to head down to the next floor. Still feeling pretty good about things, although keys, or lack thereof, uh, is, is going to be a real sore spot for us. I'm just going to put a bomb there. I don't know why I thought that would work, but in a weird way, it actually kind of did. It took out one Leaper and one Zombie, which is basically the perfect combination to actually give me a chance on the rest of this room. Yeah, that, you know, I did nine times out of ten, I would do that again. Uh, Demon Judgment, remember I said I don't think we should play Demon Judgment because it's kind of like cheating your way into a deal with the devil. So I'm just going to skip over that as much as I would like to, and believe you me, I would like to... Uh, play that demon judgment because the opportunity to pick up something that increased my damage of which there are you know plenty in deal with the devil items uh, is almost 
too much to pass up. We will pick up a key here. And with 47 cents, I absolutely have to go to the shop. Where we will pick up Compass, which is beautiful and makes me feel fantastic about all of the items that we've wa wasted so far or missed. Uh, and we will also make our way back here, because now that we know we're going the wrong way. Uh, yes, we do. We got we picked up another key in that shop as well, because we had so much money. I would love to come across a regular judgment. As far as I can tell, a regular judgment um, would not shit on the initial challenge run suggestion from a user whose name I forgot. Oh, it was Eric Cartman, of course. Probably the real Eric Cartman, if I had to guess. And I do. Uh, those things should disappear, yes. And this is not the right way, sadly. We get another... How many? That's got to be like four or five item rooms that have contained a... Spacebar item that I can't pick up. That's actually going to be our last item room as well. But, you know, again, I can't really complain because for a while we got very lucky uh, with, you know, picking up the Relic and the Miter so early on. Uh, and, you know, deals with the Angel have been pretty plentiful as well. So I feel pretty good about our chances. That being said, it could have been so much better if we had just gotten great items from item rooms. But, as we stack up Spacebar item after Spacebar item, I realize that uh, could be a whole lot worse. Let's put it that way. Just gonna po toss this bomb in here. We did manage to kill three at once, which was kind of surprising to me. And we've saved our Emperor card. So, uh, we'll be able to pop this. And you know, with the compass, we don't actually need to pop this as early as I would have originally anticipated. If I could save this for the Cathedral, I would be a very happy camper. That's probably getting to the point where it's a long shot. Uh, but we'll see. The other thing is, uh, the boss fights against Isaac and Blue Baby are going to be a real test for me because I'm not doing all that much damage. It's going to take, what, like a hundred shots to kill these dudes, uh, which is far from ideal, shall we say, if we're going to put it politely. If we're going to put it impolitely, it's real fucking hard. Uh, as you can see, I'm already not struggling, but not doing nearly as much damage to Mom uh, as I would like to. I would like to one-shot her, but let's uh, realistically like to is maybe a better term to put it. We're about halfway through the mom fight here. Uh, I'm just gonna continue to kind of circle around here and drop these shots as is necessary. Anytime your foot wants to come down mom, you just let me know and I will try to direct enemies underneath it so you can crush your own children under your boot like you tried to crush my dreams under your boot so so many times before. I don't know why this suddenly got so dark. I was It was like I was talking about my real mom, which I'm not because I have no real mom. She might actually be watching this video. She's a real nice lady, so hopefully she knows that I am joking. And not trying to slander her on the internet. If I was trying to slander her on the internet, let's be honest, I'd just do it on Twitter. Uh, so we're picking up an HP upgrade. Cool beans. Not really that interesting, though. Uh, if we find a blood bank, we might want to try to roll permanent Polaroid invincibility. But, for now, let us just move on. We are on Utero 1, and I'm going to try to make my way to this boss room. We need to pick up four keys. That's my uh, overall goal here, is to pick up four keys so I can make good use of the chest. Otherwise, you know, I mean, it's, there's no guarantee that we're going to get down to the chest. And, well, I guess this, the game is basically like, okay, motherfucker, put your money where your mouth is. Do you have enough spirit hearts to make this worthwhile? The thing is, I, I mean, it's probably a good idea because it's going to allow me to kill Isaac and Blue Baby so much faster. At the very least, we can play a shitload of this just to try to get the HP upgrade. But, you know, if the HP upgrade comes out, I'll be happy. Otherwise, would we even be running permanent invincibility, though? Because we would be, um... We, we need to pick up, like, a half heart or something. Otherwise, if we have one heart, I don't think it'll go. But it doesn't matter, that's a moot point now. By the way, Blood Bag actually did not heal me all the way there. Uh, it, it just healed me to, like... God damn it, that was terrible. There was no getting away once I saw that shot enter the air. But, uh, you know, it, it, that was out of our hands, so it, it's, it's all good. Uh, I would have liked to have tried permanent invincibility with the Polaroid, but maybe uh, getting that Blood Bag has actually saved me some heartache. Would not surprise me. I don't give enough credit, I think, to just amassing a fuck ton of red hearts. I don't do it as often as uh, maybe I should. I'm very quick to go to uh, Guppy's paw and uh, just turn those into spirit hearts at the bank of, uh, you know, foreign exchange. Again, another spirit heart. Getting crazy with those. Uh, this is a bad trip pill, which is actually pretty good because we could use it as a full health pill in the event of something going terribly wrong. But the Emperor card is also extraordinarily valuable as well. And uh, I'm going to stick with it because I, I get a certain sense of perverse satisfaction over holding the same card for like 90% of the game. Two of clubs gives us 30 bombs. I was kind of hoping that would give us two keys, but I guess I can't complain about having a ton of extra bombs. Now, fighting Conquest. This could be awesome or it could be terrible. It's not even going to be awesome or terrible. This could be okay or it could be um, kind of a waste is what I mean. Because there's a chance we'll get Cube of Meat here. Uh, but there's also a, a much stronger chance, I believe, uh, that we will get the White Pony, which is absolutely goddamn worthless. For me, anyway. 
Normally, it would be substantially better than the poop. It's pretty much a straight upgrade. As close as you can possibly get uh, to a literal upgrade uh, over an item, since the poop is probably, like, the, again, fourth or fifth worst item in the game. Um, it, you know, if we, if we only get hit five or six times killing this guy, that's okay by me, because he's fairly difficult. That was a bad bomb. We are able to hit these doppelgangers. Amazingly did not take damage there, but then amazingly took damage against the very slow shots that he shot out. Anyway, he gave us a spirit heart. We can't fight in the deal with the devil, recall. So we are going down to the next floor. Uh, again, so far so good, and we're going to try to make our way to the boss room, which seems to not be in this direction. I was just about to say, seems like it can't be in any direction but this. Uh, this is actually really unfortunate because it means we are probably going to have an incredibly long trip uh, in order to get to uh, the enemy. But, you know, we are probably... Oh man, I don't like the look of this. This seems like the wrong way. Uh, we are probably going to gain almost as many spirit hearts as we would lose by going on this kind of long voyage. So maybe it's not the end of the world. We're going to try going down next. I imagine this is going to be a longer trip than I was originally anticipating, which is unfortunate. But that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. I would rather have a long womb part 2 than a long utero 2 anyway. And I would rather have a long womb part 2 than... Uh a long cathedral, so let's hope that's the way that this goes down. That's how I'm gonna try to placate myself for the time being, at least. With 26 bombs, we can definitely afford to uh, use some of these on these uh, little miniature boss fights that we're gonna get involved with here. Can't believe I managed to trick those guys into getting killed by their own parent. You should see the look on their face once they realize they've eaten their own son. It's kind of like a reverse Scott Tannerman situation. Uh, another bomb for us, which is good because I used three or something there. Uh, we're looking like, by the way, these Larry Juniors are the fastest fucking Larry Juniors I've ever seen in my entire life. What is up with that? Uh, but it's looking like this might be the right way still, but I'm getting a little skeptical. Chubb, I don't think, is uh, someone we need to waste a bomb thinking about now, unless those Larry Juniors have kind of misrepresented the health remaining on this guy. You know what? Why don't we just toss a little bomb inside of his belly? Yeah, okay, so the Larry Juniors did misrepresent the amount of health that Chubb had left. Turns out this guy's still uh, going fairly strong here. Just don't get hit, and uh, you know if you get hit, he wins. Even if he does end up dying in the end. Pick up another bomb. Okay, this could still very much be the right way. Uh, these are the most annoying enemies in the game for me. Except for the ones that explode when they get too close to you. Those are substantially worse, because we would have taken damage at least two or three times on them so far. And another nickel. Money equals power would be a glorious kind of upgrade right now. Now, I probably should not kill the guts until the angel fetuses are dead, because it's going to complicate things. Or I guess it's the brain, dude. Until the angel fetuses are dead, because it's going to complicate things. But, yeah, whatever. It ended up working out totally fine regardless. Again, good dodging. Thank you to the angel fetuses. An extra spirit heart for our coffers. Uh, we're just going to go stand next to this guy. I really thought I was going to take damage there from being kind of a silly dude. But we're okay. Now, we're not done with this floor yet, so and forgive me for talking like this is a post-mortem. That was a, a bad piece of damage to take, for sure. Uh, but, uh, things are really going to start to get hard if you rub it for, you know, 30 or 45 seconds. Now, but things are seriously going to start to get hard once we get up to the cathedral, where, uh, you know, not only are the rooms going to be difficult, but we're also going to be dealing with uh, Isaac himself. Now, with three... That was risky, but it ended up working out. I was going to say with three keys, I probably shouldn't do this, but I did regardless. Uh, what's this pill? Tears up. Fantastic. A couple good upgrades to get before fighting Mom's Heart, but Mom's Heart should be an easy fight. Uh, that is a t another Tears Up pill. Wow. Uh, but yeah, you know, I, I'm not worried about the Mom's Heart too much. Obviously, I'm taking things room by room and inch by inch, row by row, etc., etc., but uh, the uh, Cathedral is where things are going to start to get real tricky, so... We're not going to get an item from killing Mom's Heart. We're just going to go straight from the Mom's Heart boss fight up to the Isaac boss fight uh, and hope that things work out kind of better than I expect that they will. But that remains to be seen. In any case, that was bad damage to take from that laser, but uh, I would not be surprised if that was potentially the last damage that we take over the course of this fight because, you know, Mom's Heart has kind of a reputation for not being all that difficult. The slowing effect is going to be the unsung hero of this fight for sure, unless Guardian Angel manages to, like, literally save my life, in which case... I'm sure that I will fail to recognize that as well. We're tearing through these bosses pretty quickly, though, thanks to those damage upgrades we picked up fairly recently, including the Small Rock and the uh, Steven upgrade that we got fairly recently. Uh, not fairly recently, like literally the most recently that we probably could have. We picked up two tiers upgrades in that time period as well. But anyway, throwing these bombs in here. Eventually that guy's going to die. We're going to shoot some more bombs in. Duke of Flies should die before 
Mm, it's kind of close. We just really don't want Chubb to appear. God damn it. It's right at the last second. Luckily, we can fly, so I don't have to sweat uh, the creep showing up or anything like that. Oh, that was bad damage for me to take. But on the bright side, at least both of the silkworms died as well. And we'll continue to. We don't need to do jack shit about Chubb here as long as we just kind of stay away. Oh, more damage. I can't believe I've taken, so, like, three spirit hearts worth of damage on Mom's heart. But, alas, that's okay. We're up to the next floor. Uh, and we're going to immediately pop this Emperor card. I see the library. Don't worry. Uh, but I can't go to the library, recall. I mean, I could go pick up a probably a single spirit heart and then leave. But considering the amount of spirit hearts we're getting pseudo-naturally, uh, I don't know if that's necessarily all that important. So I'm going to try to take less damage, but at the same time, forgive me, my brain's having a little bit of trouble parsing the situation right now because it is a goddamn clusterfuck. What we might want to do, actually, is just kind of handle it like this. Basically shoot in bombs. Uh, which will do damage. We should probably save some bombs for the blue baby boss fight. But at the same time, we kind of just need to survive this one. And then we can start worrying about, you know, min-maxing our chances. Uh, so once I get down to eight bombs, I'm gonna stop firing these in here. And try to fight in the old-fashioned way. He's down to about half health. So that saves me eight bombs for the blue baby boss fight. Just trying to ration supplies here as is necessary. Uh, Guardian Angel and Q with me not doing a great job of stopping me from taking damage. I really think we could use a, uh, you know, pretty fly or a halo of flies. I'm kind of just standing still, and in a weird way, it's actually working out fairly okay for me. Now, uh, I, I would give this guy, like, another eight or nine seconds of sustained, uh, damage. I'm just gonna run in and actually drop a bomb, uh, in the hopes that that would take out more angel fetuses. They managed to teleport before the situation got too bad for them. Uh, unfortunately for me. Uh, four angel fetuses is annoying, but I still can't even see my spirit heart, so I think we're doing uh, a-okay here. No question about that. It's getting a little bit more dire. We gained one spirit heart. We probably lost about seven. And th this is the problem here, because I actually can't gauge how, luck how, how likely we are to win. We're going to go down to the next floor, obviously, but uh, if we have 30 spirit hearts off the screen, we've got a very good chance. If we have two, not so good. Uh, we can take the holy water item. Probably not too psyched about the uh, items that I picked up there. But hopefully we will pick up some more keys and we'll be able to make this run work for us in the future. Uh, with those two items. I'm sure one of those is going to be Polyphemus, right guys? Now, uh, I am kind of... I'm, I'm throwing everything I've got at this right here. Uh, using bombs that I should probably save for the blue baby fight. Thank you, Gish, for making that guy... Uh, or both of these guys now substantially easier. We will pick up a Spirit Heart here, which means a net loss of zero. Uh, we will open another chest and come across my best friend. Again, the amount of troll engine trolling with the spacebar items that they have been giving me is too damn high. Uh, you know, I would love to use some bombs to take out Chubb here, but it's probably best if we just fight him. Uh, even if it takes us a long time, it's going to be much smarter for us to fight Chubb and use bombs against Blue Baby because I can't reliably dodge Blue Baby because I'm bad at the Binding of Isaac. Uh, let's just continue circling around a little bit here. These guys shouldn't be too, too bad. You know, if I have all double Chubb rooms on the way to the boss fight, so be it. That would be A-OK -okay with me. Again, some sustained combat here should be enough to take him out. And we picked up a single penny. Lord knows that's going to be very, very useful uh, on our final approach here. To the boss fight, of which we were actually getting really close. Uh, super gluttony, pretty damn fast. I want to try to kill. Uh, sorry, not super gluttony, super lost. I want to try to kill gluttony last, because I really need the. Uh, oh come on, don't kill him by accident, sloth, please. Uh, he should get drop hearts then if we kill him last, which will uh, allow us to refill our health a little bit. Could actually be what makes the difference on this blue baby fight. You never know. It's maybe unlikely. We got a spirit heart out of it too, so that was definitely. Uh, Probably the right course of action to take there anyway. Uh, I'm gonna... I should probably kill Famine first, because then we're just fighting war, and that is not so bad. Uh, but I'm basically gonna attack whoever is easy to, easiest to attack first. Uh, and, it, you know, if that's war, so be it. Especially now that war is probably nearly dead. Uh, and with the slow, we should be able to take him out quickly. We have the speed necessary to get around him, even if he takes a, a running start at us, though. So any second now. I've taken a lot of damage to Grandfather Flies on this room, which is actually really embarrassing. But, I mean, again, I have no idea how this blue baby fight is going to go. I'm assuming that we're going to be okay. It all depends on how many spirit hearts we have. But I haven't seen how many spirits, spirit hearts I've actually had for, like, I don't know, 20 minutes now. So, uh, yeah, you know, really, anything could happen. Uh, I'm going to do exactly the opposite of my last fight, actually, my fight against uh, Isaac. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire in shots here 
at the start, and then when the Angel Fetus is start coming in, I'm gonna start dropping the bombs, because that gives us the opportunity to take them out uh, via crowd control, basically. Uh, and I'm kind of revolutionizing my dodging style here. What I'm doing, instead of dodging left and right, I'm dodging forward and backwards to try to get the cycle of the Cuba Meat and Guardian Angel timed so they block the shots, as opposed to just... By the way, I, I can see that I can see my hearts now, and that worries the shit out of me. But we're still doing fairly well, I would say. I don't know if this new dodging style is working out for me. It's uh, probably just a big placebo effect, if I had to guess. But I think we're going to succeed here. I would be very surprised if we, end up, if we ended up losing this one. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, it's totally feasible that I will take, um, you know, seven hits here at the end and, and end up dying. Even if they do end up happening after we kill uh, Blue Baby, but we die to the Angel Fetuses, which is the worst kind of death I wish upon not even my worst enemy. Uh, Blue Baby is almost dead, though. We've still got four hits left until... Well, now three hits left until things get real rough. Okay, Blue Baby's dead. One Angel Fetus remains. And we're done! Surprisingly easy run! Holy shit, we succeeded! Thank you, Eric Cartman, for that challenge run suggestion. As always, thank you guys for watching and continue suggesting your own challenge runs. It feels good to beat the chest for the first time in a long time. But again, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.